Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of Divinethemuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of March 9th. Okay, your theme for the week, this beautiful queen. This is the queen of wands. Wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. And the queen in the, in the court is the one who has power similar and equal to the king's, but she uses her power in a different way. She uses it to nurture herself and others. So your theme this week is to look at how you nurture yourself and others with your creative work and to be fierce about it. This is no shy queen or retiring queen. She's got a lot of passion, a lot of will, a lot of purpose behind her. So look at how you are acting as the queen of wands this week. Your focus is the two of coins. Um, coins is the element of earth in the realm of home, health, and wealth. Anything you can touch, taste, or feel, the physical. And you can see the fool on his uh, bicycle here holding the two coins, interestingly enough, pedaling across water. So even though we're in the um, suit of earth, there's, water is very much at play here. And he's holding two coins, one of which has the sign of Capricorn and the other of which has the sign of Jupiter. Capricorn is all about business and details. Jupiter is the big benefic. So your focus this week is on what are the details, what are the business aspects, the practical aspects you need to take care of in your creative work this week so that you can create that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, the big reward. Um, so what is it? What do you need to look at around your creative business and creative work that's practical this week? And oh yes, here we have for our action, one of those challenging fives. This is the five of cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, feelings, emotions, dreams, intuition, and that um, intuitive, heartfelt aspect of creativity. You can see the poor woman sitting with her back against the wall. She's holding two cups and three broken ones on the ground before her. Your action this week is to make the decision about are you going to sit there nursing your hurts and trying to protect what you have or are you going to get up and move away and do what you need to do with your creative projects to get back at, out in the world doing the work that you do. Sometimes it can feel we need that time to sit there and nurse our hurts and recover our strength before we can get back and get up there, get out there, but we don't want to spend all our time there. So this is the week to get up and get moving again. And then finally, if you can do that, we started with wands, we end with wands. This is the six of wands. It's the success card. You can see the knight on his horse riding through the city, getting all the lights and the, I think of it as the confetti parade. Um, you have, again, you have the sign of Jupiter here and the sign of Leo. This is really the gift of being recognized for the work you do in a big way. So as we look at the story for this week, can you be the queen of wands? Can you look for those opportunities where you're going to allow your passion for your work, your, for your creativity, to serve yourself and others in the community? You can't be shy about your creative work this week. Um, how are you going to focus on the business aspects of your creative work in order to get out there and reap the reward that you're looking for? Then take action by move, getting up and moving away from nursing old hurts and wounds and get those two creative projects out there where they need to be. And then once you've done that, look for the reward of acknowledgement and success. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of Divinethemuse.com wishing you divine musings.